This week's discussion posting will take a look at Element 40, asking questions of low expectancy students for Dwayne Stutzman at William Woods University. Communicating high expectations to all students in the classroom is imperative. There is a need to establish the criteria to let the students know what exactly is expected of them. Asking questions or prompting activities should be done at the same frequency to low and high expectancy students. There should not be any apparent segregations between the two. One way that an instructor can measure the level of expectations students have is through response opportunities. Polling technology can be used or clicker or mobile devices encourage participation. This system almost always fosters discussion about the topic being presented in the classroom. Here the instructor now can gauge the level of interest students have while simultaneously getting to know his or her students better. Now you can also use technology to create assignments tailored to a student's interests. A lot can be told about interest levels by randomly calling on students through random name generators to elaborate on answers they might provide to a designated prompt. Instructors should encourage students to support their claims with inferences made. There is no more of an indicator of expectation levels than asking a student how they arrived at their answer and demonstrate their understanding of said prompt. Wait time can also be used as a teaching strategy to allow all students enough time to answer questions prompted to them. Some technological software such as Poll Everywhere or other polling software can again be utilized here to track time on how long it takes students to answer questions. This will allow you to tailor your further classroom discussion or activities around those low expectancy students so that everyone in your classroom understands the material being conveyed. It can be difficult for many instructors to find a balance between getting all of their students to understand course content. Every student learns differently. Incorporating technology into the classroom will ease this process we call learning and improve student and instructor self-worth. How will you convey your expectations?